Hey, what's up, guys? It's a uh, Christian Chase coming out here with another Team Big Red video. Um, today, uh, instead of profiling a deck, we're just gonna be playing a best of three set. Um, Rudy is gonna be playing me playing with ADP Zacian currently in the Rebel Clash format, and I'm gonna be playing the Green Dragapult deck that I profiled um, earlier this week. Um, this matchup feels fine. Um, I've tested it. Um, them playing Mal and Lana now kind of makes it a little iffy. But, you, you know, if they don't get that Mal and Lana immediately, uh, you kind of just win. Um, definitely an awkward looking hand here, although I'm not going to complain. I'm going to guess we're going second. We're going to get some wheezing spread. Um, here, I added a Baby Blown to the list. I just kind of felt like... With the 1-1 one, one Malamar line, um, sometimes playing down that baby blind, if you don't miss Magnus early in the game, it can be pretty impactful. So we're just going to see him attach and then Intrepid here. Um, you know... Huh. I kind of just want to Roxy here and start putting damage across the board. I mean, we're... You know, in a Roxy, put one everywhere, draw six cards. Um... Greens in here doesn't feel amazing. I don't really know what I'd go for. I feel like, you know, Stamp is just like a win now card. We're just looking for another basic here. Um, wow, and we whiffed that even. Um, which is honestly fine. Next turn we can just Greens and set up. We can actually Greens next turn, depending on what our hand is. We hit, did hit the Stamp. You know, I'm not feeling to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Stamp to 6 doesn't seem bad here, especially after an Intrepid. Kind of force him to, like, somehow hit Switch, double Metal Patch, Energy Attach to win the game, which seems pretty impossible. Not impossible, but pretty unlikely. Um, I'm comfortable doing that play. Yep, so we're going to see another Zacian hit the bench. We're going to see a quick ball. Hoping to see a Dedenne come down, I think that would be optimal for looking at our board. And putting the 40 damage here on ADP is really, really solid. Um, yep, so we're going to see the Mute 2, looks like. Um, he's just putting it on the bench to scoop it up later, is my guess. Alright, so we're going to see a Dedenne. Um, let's see what we can get here. See the Chaotix will come down. Uh, power Plant really isn't that big of a deal in this matchup. Um, we see the Research. So he's got rid of three patches, so I don't think he can actually... I guess if he finds his fourth patch, Metal, and then Switch? And a way to, to discard Metal? Okay, so we're just going to see him attach here. And then an Intrepid Sword, which is... Um, so we're going to set up the Zacian on the bench, which isn't going to be a killer for us. He's going to be taking four. We can basically afford to bench a single Miss Magus in case of, um, a Marnie. I definitely want a Greens here, just grabbing ourselves probably a Roxy's and an Evolution Incense, I think. We're not being threatened by a knockout next turn. Um, and we have to attach this turn. So like, in the end, it doesn't really impact if we get down another pull to this turn, I don't think. Um, because we have another turn to get it down next turn. I definitely just wanna, definitely just want to bench uh, the Mistrevious if we can. Um, so yeah, just gonna get Roxy's. Um, and then a treasure, I feel like, just so we have that flexibility next turn off the Roxies. Um, we can actually grab ourselves... So we're just going to grab ourselves the... Hmm. I actually right here would prefer to grab ourselves... Another Pult, just, eh, I don't want him knocking out that Pult. I'd rather him just knock out the Mysterious for one prize, so we're going to go into that, and just have that kind of set up for next turn. We're definitely going to put our damage counter on this Zacian. Um, 
as we max Phantom. Um, just throwing all the damage on that Zay and kind of setting ourselves up for a future, like, big prize turn um, on the field. That seems fine to be here. Um, yep, so we're going to see a skateboard come down on Dedene. The Primate Wisdom. I wonder if he's going to go for the Altar here. I don't even know if that's right at this point, to be honest. Yep, so we're going to see the Orangaroo. I don't know what he's going to do. And then we're going to see the Marty now. So if we just hit an Evolution Incense, which we did, um, really, really nice there. Um, let's see the Pan come down. I wonder if he's... Look, he's definitely looking for the Switch see another pan, and then the intrepid sword that just doesn't feel great for Rudy here. Um, so we're going to see another, so we're going to see the pull off of this. Just attach this. Evolution incense. Grabbing Miss Magus. And honestly, just popping the Miss Magus here seems totally fine to me. And... I actually would prefer to just leave it. We can just take our prizes this way, if I'm going to be real. Because um, we don't want to... We want to have that protection against Amari. And that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. So we're going to kill the ADP. And I think it's just safe to put the rest of the damage here. We're doing 100. So now with a, with a Roxy's play after his Magus say hitting a learn ball or like double wheezing there's well, there's our first wheezing um we can actually knock out that zacian and kind of set up game right there and just take the rest of our prizes easily on either um a mute or an array so we're just gonna see what it comes with we see the energy spinner it's fine by me I see the metal come down the primate wisdom and a Brave Blade on the long active. And he just takes the 20, so we're going to be knocking out that boy. Um, I think we can just burn. So now the Roxy's damage doesn't matter necessarily as much. See, I'd like to get... So we can just burn Power Plant, kind of a dead card right now. Getting the Max Maxis here, or sorry, Roxies, seems really, really good for us. We can just gear, see what we get. See the boss's order, that feels good just to have in our hand. Or him to Marnie. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go into this here, getting rid of these two because they're both accessible back with Lurball. Um, yep, and we do hit the this bad boy, which is definitely really solid. Um, so next turn, we're going to probably miss Magic Pop, find a way, hopefully gear into Roxy's. We'll just see what where this hand takes us. I don't think we need to do anything else except stand up for the knockout. Um, so we're basically a boss's order away from winning, so I just feel like putting the damage on the thing, the only thing that can really attack with feels better. And also because he can, um, so we hit the psychic energy, which is pretty big, so we don't have to spin our floor to find it all for Um, yeah, so we're gonna see another swell hit the field, and then an energy spinner. Might do a profile on this ADPZ list. A little later in the week. Um, so just scoop up net. That's kind of what I was afraid of here. We put the damage on a Ranguru Mewtwo. He can just scoop both them up um, and kind of nullify it. Whereas with Zacian, it has to stay in play. So we're gonna see the research, um, which kind of just tells me we have game. Um, so we're gonna see Primate Wisdom. He's gonna knock out our pull, but then we just put attach boss's orders. Yep. Um, so that'll be game one. Just text him real quick, first or second, going into this game. Yep, so he's gonna 
take us three prizes. It's like the thing about this Dragon Ball has a very favorable ADZ matchup in my opinion. Um, Oh uh, yeah, so we're gonna take game. <laughs> um, so we're gonna take game one here versus Rudy. Um, he'll probably. I mean, he definitely wants to go first. I feel like there's no way going second even feels optimal. So that was game one there. Um, we kind of just set up really nice. Got a good Roxy's play early. He whiffed a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, so it didn't really end up mattering. Long haul of things. But I think the strategy behind this deck is pretty simple. You know, if he goes optimally in AP and altered creations, um, we just have to, we can pop a singular Miss Magus for Marnie protection while at the same time using two VMAXs and they can basically take play the A prize game. Um, so that's kind of the thinking in this matchup. Definitely going to see him going first. Did I click first? Okay, okay, so Rhea is going first. Um, so we get a mulligan, fine by me. Alright, so that's definitely not what you like to see. Well, I mean, it definitely, obviously, it depends on what, what we hit on poker here. Like, if we hit a Roxy's or a Green's off the poker here, I'm not very concerned. Play eight copies combined of both of them, and both would work just as well in this situation. So we're going to see what he goes with. So we start and hits the ADP off the poker again, which is a catch. Um, really good start for Green. For sure. Um, can't complain if I'm him. See if he can come out. So he hits the Zacian 2, probably just a Stellar here. Yep, there's the Pan, and then a Stellar. Um, again, I don't know how much Altered even helps in this matchup. Because he's, Zacian is never one hit KOing one of these. It's literally doing the same thing with the extra damage. Um, I feel like the only math Altered creation helps. Oh, so this could be really bad. So we hit the Roxies, which. Um, so we're just going to Roxy's two Weezing. Uh, yeah, definitely do this. Uh, definitely put this down. I do want to... Treasure, I don't think... You know, he could be threatening knockout here on our Pult. So we could definitely treasure into... We can definitely just treasure... Get rid of... Um, Mal and Lana really does nothing in this matchup. Uh, probably just grab ourselves a Mistrevious here and try to set up a Mar like Marty prevention play or just have a draw out if he does knock us out because having like another pult on the bench if he knocks him out with no energy doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, now we're just gonna bite. Having draw to the active early is really really good here um, just because I can't put that damage onto ADP. Okay, so we're gonna see a Cherish Ball. Looking for the Dedene. Um, see what we can come up with here. Stellar Wish. Um, it, you know, the knockout here is definitely not out of the question. Oh, so we just completely with Stellar. Most likely is a scoop up to kind of buffer this. We're gonna see a Quick Ball getting rid of a Jirachi. Probably setting up a second Zacian, maybe the Oranguru. There's the second Zacian. Um, there's a scoop net, like I said, on Jirachi, bringing up the ADP, so it looks like he's going to go in for the Alter Creation play. Um, especially when no metals in the discard, it's kind of hard to... Yeah, so we're going to see the attachment, which 
almost definitely means he's going into altered here. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to see out of Rudy. Um, we can hold Tool Scrapper in hand, to be honest. I don't think it's something... Eh, we can definitely play it now. I definitely want a Greens for Roxy. Definitely want to find ourselves... First, we're just going to Evolve and Attach, because we don't really do that. Um, definitely just Tool Scrapper, and then Greens for Roxy, Quick Ball. Um, actually... Yeah, yeah, we have to Greens for Roxy here and then then we can pop Miss Magis. Or no, we probably don't pop the Miss Magis if I'm being real. Mm. No, we have to pop Miss Magis here actually because if we just leave it on the bench uh he can KO it um and then force like a two prize game on the Miss Magis. So we definitely don't want that to happen. We're just gonna grab ourselves Quick Ball. Um, and Roxy's here. Quick Ball, getting rid of a Psychic. It's fine by me. Grabbing ourselves a second Pult. Um, we're going to Miss Magis and hopefully set up from here. Yep, so there's a spinner. There's a whole bunch of stuff to work with. Um, even if we don't hit the, the uh, Lure Ball here, we can kind of take control um, with a Roxy, just draw six cards and go from there. So we're going to Max Phantom. Um, so he's probably just going to put the energy on the f whichever one has less damage. Fine with me. I, I want to set up a boss's order play on this one. Um, and now that he's ahead in prizes, thanks to the Miss Magis, uh, which he won't be for a little bit, but yes, yeah, so we're just gonna see a Tatch Ultimate right here, which is what we like to see. Yeah, so it, it, the new damage is going on the Zacian. Um, One of the active, we're gonna be KOing the active. Um, all right, so first we're just gonna learn ball and see how that goes. Wow, <laughs> that is what we like to see. Um, not gonna complain about that. I know, yeah. I know. Swag. Um, that was a pretty pretty lucky, you know, thing, but we still had the Roxies, like it really doesn't. Um, so we have no more basic energy in deck, which definitely could be an issue. We have three or energy. Um, so we're definitely just gonna Roxy here. Getting rid of two Weezing. Yes. Okay, so here's the thing actually. If he cannot Marnie us, um, so he's definitely attacking with this Zacian here. Um, I definitely just want to put this down. Um, find a meme um, and then spread the damage here there's our stamp um, could be very impactful the thing I want to see though is surge I believe we can win the game next turn if we do gear into surge um, which would be ridiculous for sure um, see the metal saucer so he's just setting up another fresh Zacian which looks to be his best play. There's the Cherish Ball. Does he play a second to Dene? He does play a second to Dene. Okay. Um, he hasn't used Amari yet. I'd be very shocked if he doesn't. 
Um, yeah, so we can win. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We cannot win the game next turn. I'm, I'm, I'm capping. I, I do not know what I was thinking there. I was thinking like we had enough damage on one of the city teams already. But next turn, really, if we can. Oh gosh. Oh, so he hits the Mallow and Lana. Okay. Honestly, not really that concerned about. Wow, so he's fresh Mallow and Lana here. Energy switch. Wow, he had the whole shebang. And then three blade. Wow, I was really, really solid from Rudy there. Um, definitely optimal line of play. Still, I'm feeling very, very confident if we can. Okay, so we're just gonna... First, I am gonna treasure, I'm gonna get rid of, you know, something that is really just irrelevant. Inke. Grab ourselves another Weezing, and the Surge is in the deck. I don't have any other way to thin though, so we're just going to go with this. We hit the greens. See the power plant? Definitely just Roxy here. We have to hit the core energy. Which we do. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put the damage here. And I think we set up almost a checkmate case, uh, checkmate next turn. Um, if I play this right, we're gonna be putting him at 170. Um, and then we can boss his order up the Dedene and kill this. So we're gonna put this here. We're gonna give him the old stamp plant to one. Um, yeah, and then. You know, just give him the old Max Phantom. And basically say, no matter what, yo, your deck is kinda gas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ree, I told you, this this deck's really insane. Um see what he top decks here. And <laughs> just an intrepid sword. Um, which means we will win the game. I just want to see if we can surge for... go for surge. We hit the surge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, let's see what Lurball gets us. Tails. Heads? Heads. Um, just to like, kind of top it all off, right? Surge. Uh, Roxy's. Yeah, we'll throw the damage counters on. Wait, can we take triple knockout this turn? Like on Dedene and Bozasians? No. Um, just to show them we had the boss's orders. Two, we can do that. <laughs> um, I really like this deck. I think it has a lot of positive, positive matchups. It takes a very favorable um, easy matchup as you can see here, and that's kind of why I wanted to showcase the deck and this version of the deck. Uh, because without the mismatches, you kind of fall prey to um, Marnie's Stamps vs. Pika, but without it, you kind of just uh, control the tempo and win with it um, and put the prize trade in your favor. Um, so that's it for today. I uh, just wanted to put out this game, show the matchup versus ADPC. Um, thanks to anyone who tuned in to watch. Um, I'll see you guys on our next video.